everyone welcome back thank you so much for watching this video i hope you all are well and staying safe today's video is gonna be all about money i asked you all on my instagram whether you would like me to talk about money and ask me some questions and i've got quite a few which i'm really excited to answer i've actually not prepared my answer so i'm gonna answer on camera as always i'm gonna talk about how i save my money how i spend my income etc and hopefully this video will motivate you to save money as well as give you an idea of how i manage my finances i know a lot of people are not comfortable to talk about money but i'm quite open talking about you know money i'm quite a sensible person a lot of people think i'm really a bad spender but to be honest i'm not that bad i've always been good with money i think one of the reason was uh, my mom my mom always taught us to like save money for the rainy days i always saw like my mom had been really good with money so i think that comes from my mom as well as when i came to the uk first if you have been watching my story time you guys know like i came on student visa so i went through a lot of struggle that also kind of like helped me how to save money so let's talk about it so a lot of people think i'm unemployed at the moment that's not the case with me i have very active income i'm employed by my hubby now at the moment i'm his assistant i help him with his bills send out bills etc he pays me monthly salary from his income i get a paycheck every month i don't use that money at all all that money goes into my saving i don't touch my savings unless if i need it really bad like if it's emergency then only i use my savings nab also has active income he also saves a little bit of money we do our own saving i do mine and nab does his we never had like joint account so that is what we have been doing always when i was working full time as well i had a savings i used to save at least 800 pound a month i didn't touch that money at all rest of the money would go on utility bills shopping and other stuffs so now we do have a joint account but still i prefer to save it individually he does it individually i do it individually it's not that we are uncomfortable saving under like same joint account it's just that we want to be more responsible and save on our own so that is what we are doing at the moment so let's talk about the passive income that i have number one is obviously i've got a youtube channel i get some income out of it but not a lot i get like 300 pounds a year which is i think better than nothing to be honest and another source of income is i sell clothes on depop as you guys know like i'm really into shopping i buy clothes and also because i'm a fashion youtuber i have to do lots of hauls if i don't wear my clothes within like four months i sell that on depop and sometimes i buy like brand new clothes and then i sell that brand new on a depop whenever i sell brand new with tag then i can put the price up because it's like a brand new people are more reluctant to pay more money for new items other source of income is we have invested our money in shares currently as you guys know like the bank of england rate is really bad it's no point no one you are not getting much interest out of your savings in the bank so we have actually started investing money on shares this year i own five shares of different companies i didn't want to risk my investment so i've got investment in five companies at the moment the shares are not looking that good because of the covid 19 the shares have gone down if you are really interested in shares then i feel like this is the high time to get into shares because uh, most of the company's shares are quite low i've actually got shares from apple tesla which is like a very hot at the moment i read a lot about finances like shares etc on different websites i like to know about like economy etc i'm really into like news documentaries even though i do a lot of fashion i'm into to that sort of stuff i feel like it is so important to invest money a lot of rich people became rich by investment if money can earn money why not so that is what we are doing before when we were saving our aim was to just buy a house and we saved for a couple of years and then we managed to buy a house also we saved for our education now we have invested some of our money on shares and then at the same time we are saving as well so that is my passive income and i'm gonna answer some of the questions now oh i forgot to talk about this one another passive income that we are looking to invest in property next year so that is our plan buy houses but the thing with property is the maintenance is quite expensive so that is kind of like a downside but definitely looking forward to invest in property next year in 2021 so let's talk about how i saved money during college time as you all know like i funded my own education during college so what i did in college was i used to spend very less money because i only used to work part-time when you work in supermarkets mcdonald's 
they don't pay you a lot i used to eat out very less and i used to shop mostly on sale and i used to walk to college rather than taking bus so that i could save a little bit money i also worked full-time during summer almost like six days a week or sometimes even seven days a week because of all these habits i managed to save quite a lot of money and i was able to fund my own education which i'm quite proud of okay so the first one says how do you stop yourself from buying unnecessary things online apps are my downfall first of all have a budget before you go for shopping as well as have a list of things you need especially if you are going for clothing don't buy the items you have already got in your closet also only download apps that you would normally shop from so that you don't get tempted to buy i've only got three apps actually from where i buy most of my clothes and so that i don't get distracted and do impulse buying spending money on luxury bags clothes and shoes and it's worth please talk about it to be honest i don't spend my money on luxury bags or clothes i mean like i do spend sometimes when i want to treat myself to be honest i don't have a lot of luxury bag i don't see that as an investment when i say investment on luxury bag it's more like how much wear i'll get i don't see luxury bags or clothing item as a active source of income for me i would rather invest in shares property it will give me uh, some sort of cash in the future but with luxury bag it's very tricky also the value can depreciate the more you wear there are only few luxury products that you can get your money out of it otherwise most of the time when you are selling your luxury clothes bags etc even though the price goes over the time when you sell you have to sell on certain website which would take commissions by the time you sell you're not getting a lot of money out of it so when I buy luxury bags I'm not thinking like oh I'm gonna make money out of it I've actually experienced that myself because few years ago I bought a bag I wanted to sell it I couldn't get the retail price they were asking for so low that is the time I realized oh this is not a good idea to buy luxury bags in terms of investment I don't see luxury bags as a active cash flow another one says staying within budget staying within budget is so hard even sometimes I go over the budget every month you can write down how much you have spent and then you can compare which month you spent a lot or which month you stayed within the budget so that will give an idea how much you are spending as well that is also one of the things I do on my bullet journaling I record all my spending and at the end of the month I check my spending like if I have gone above my budget or I have spent less than my budget and also like sometimes even if you go over the budget that's fine uh, don't you know beat yourself up next month you can try and stay within the budget or under the budget as well on your personal experience regarding savings for a lot of people have asked about saving tips on saving before going for masters or postgraduate somebody asks just saving like I said earlier how we managed to to save was basically we had a certain amount we saved every month that would go on our separate bank account which we wouldn't touch also like go for cash ISA where you don't get tied up for a long term if you need money very soon I know the rates are not very good at the moment but keep your saving in separate accounts so that you don't use it try to cut out wherever you need to cut out like sometimes not even having a coffee a day you can save a lot from that as well you know buying clothes on sale rather than on full price do you have a budget of how much you spend on clothes as you do fashion videos yes actually i do have a budget whenever i'm doing haul i try not to cross over 400 pounds so that is my budget most of the time i don't cross over 400 pounds sometimes i do but very rarely and whenever i am doing fashion haul i don't do every month because that would be spending too much money also when i do hauls i don't keep all the clothes i only keep the clothes that i would need and i would get a lot of wear out of it I have to be sensible at the end of the day there's no point keeping clothes in my wardrobe I'm not gonna wear it and also I keep track of how much money I spend every month on clothes if I spend more then I make sure next month I don't spend a lot so one month I'm spending on clothes next two months I don't spend on clothes source of income and where do you spend the most source of income I have already talked about that I've got both passive and active income and where do you spend the most to be honest personally I spend more on shopping because I love to shop you guys know that and i love wearing clothes that make me feel beautiful i don't spend a lot of money on makeup because i'm not a makeup person i don't spend money on luxury uh you know bags or clothing so i spend on clothing mostly like high street clothing saving tips how not to get tempted by the seller i'm not going to touch on savings because i've already talked about it oh my god i have to talk about this yeah i really love this one because she's asking me like how not to get tempted by sell what i do is like whenever i go and sell i 
I make sure that I'm not buying the same stuff again which I've already got in my closet you guys know like I'm really into blazer if I'm buying blazer I'm not gonna buy same color blazer same cut out blazer so I would look for other details that I don't have in my wardrobe you have to be very strict when you go for shopping even if it's like for five pound and if you have already got that in your wardrobe please don't get tempted to buy on sale also another thing i like to do uh, whenever there is a sale is i actually save the item first before i put that on the basket and then i'll think about it like whether i need this or want it if i need that then i would go ahead and buy but if i want that then i wouldn't buy it because i know i just want it but i would probably not need it that is one of the rules i follow whenever i go for shopping how to save after paying your mortgage monthly i can't save a dollar save certain amount of money even if you can save you know ten dollars hundred dollars it doesn't have to be a big amount if you save ten pound a month then that would be 120 a year and if you save hundred pound a month that would be twelve hundred pound a year or dollars always start with like specific amount it doesn't have to be like a big amount but like i said earlier don't touch that saving at all unless if you need for emergency don't use and just say like oh i'll save extra next month because that would get you into habit of taking money out from savings and do that again and again i want to say like a phrase in nepali thopa thopa pani le samundra bansa bhanne jastai ho savings bhanne ko exactly tei ho like you have to save little amount of money so after a couple of years that would become a big amount it's not about saving a lot of money in one go but saving small amount of money so by the end of the certain years you'll have a huge amount saved how you saved or invested your money or what is the wiser way of investing for future lots of love one thing you can do is you can talk with financial advice in the banks they are really really good with money they will tell you where to invest what to do with their money you can get a lot of knowledge about uh, how to invest your money another one you can do invest in shares property etc you can also open your own business whatever you are interested in so there are so many ways your money can earn more money basically go for accounts that will give you very good interest if you are saving in the bank that is it so let's talk about how i shop i always use cashback sites for shopping and you know like all the retailers these days they give you cashback so basically they are paying you for shopping in their shops that's the reason why i like to do online shopping i have actually earned so far 649 pounds from cashback sites also another thing to do is you can sign up for like newsletters if they got like 10 percent off 20 percent off and you can always on subscribe or go for voucher codes before you pay you can check on google and find some voucher codes if you can save money that is really good also go for like nectar points store points which helps a lot i normally shop from boots so i accumulate quite a lot of points at the moment i think i've got 87 pound worth points on my boots card so i'm gonna save that and spend and buy something i really need you can also do like a referral to friends even banks do that if you refer your friends to a bank then you get certain amount of money like like 10 pound 20 pound it depends if you already use cashback sites then uh, you can refer that to your friends as well you get some money out of it i'm going to link that cashback site i use i'm their premier customer what that means is i've got this premier account where i get a little bit more than normal customer but i pay like membership fee i don't remember off the top of my head like how much it is but it's really worth it the customer service is like really good when i raise a claim they would get in touch with the retailer and if there's some sort of problem they'll get in touch with me so they are like really helpful and also everything i get is like fast track the money i get i get it earlier than normal customers so i really love this cashback site also another thing i don't watch a lot of fashion hauls on <laughs> youtube this is gonna sound crazy i know i'm a fashion uh you know youtuber i watch uh, sometimes but not a lot half of the time when you watch those sort of videos that's gonna encourage you to buy like do impulse buying i'm not saying you shouldn't watch it at all but watch them only when you need to buy something i think i've covered majority of things about money i always have a set amount of money in my bank account like the savings which i call my liquidity because whenever i'm in emergency i can use that money also this year has been like quite a difficult year for everybody including us for four months five months now didn't have work luckily we had savings so from our savings we managed to pay our mortgage we had never thought like this day would come i'm sure a lot of us didn't imagine this sort of situation would come despite that we had savings so that helped us a lot life is very uncertain you don't know what's going to happen in the future what you will go through so i would say to you all save money for yourself i hope you find this video useful and if you haven't subscribed please do i would love to have you on my channel and i'll see you guys very soon till then take care bye guys